zaidi ya miri karibu 20 na tumepata baka ya watoto lakini hatujui idadi ni ngapi sababu bado watu ni wengi sana baya bati hawajapatikana <laughs> up to a serious disaster in my Mahiu, my Vasha constituency, Nakuru County. Operations have been going on, trees are down, there are bodies, they are still looking for more bodies I hear. It's, it's just sad, it is a sad, sad moment for us here. Calling from all over, I hear it's a dam that has broken from Kijabi, upper Kijabi, but the damage is, 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 is magnanimous. It is something that we have not seen. The road is gone. I hear the one going to Narok has caved in also. The area residence is that we just have to be careful. It has been said, in fact, I heard somebody say yesterday that up there, that, uh, that dam might break. 
but people do not see these things happening. They just sit in their comfort zone. Zone, but uh, this this rain is not anything we have seen in the recent times. So when you hear people say that people must move to safer ground, we just have to heed. My call is that let's be patient. Condolences to those who have been left by their loved ones. We are yet to recover all. I, I am going towards Monio. I hear the water is coming from there, although I thought it's coming from here because there's a very big river here. Rescue those who are, uh, who are uh, still trapped. Uh, good, we've mobilized the uh, ambulance services and uh, quite a number of people have been taken to uh, the Naivasha uh, County Hospital while a good number are being treated at my Mahio level 4 hospital and also private uh, facilities within this uh, vicinity. It is massive both to property and uh, to life. But uh, all agencies have been mobilized, uh, starting with the county government of uh, Nakuru uh, through our disaster preparedness uh, department. Uh, so, so far, uh, it's only rescue mission. It has come at an unfortunate time when uh, some of our medical uh, staff are on strike. We are making a passionate appeal to them because we have some cases of uh, fractures and major, major injuries that may require serious medical attention. So we are appealing to all our medical officers, whether they are surgeons, whether they are nurses, anybody who's been involved in the strike to come out and assist in the curing or in the treatment of this, uh, attending these cases, which we believe are serious. So we, so we make a passionate appeal, because it's a disaster, that any medical officer, whether employed by the county or a volunteer, your services are highly required by your country at this moment. So let us abandon or let put aside the issue of the strike and uh, do service to our nation and to our people within our medical facilities, starting from uh, the Maimahio uh, Health Center, which is currently overwhelmed. A Logonot dispensary is currently also overwhelmed. Nairobi, uh, sorry, Naivasha Sub County Hospital is also overwhelmed, and also Nakuru PGH for any cases that may be referred there. A passionate appeal to all our medical officers uh, to actually to urgently report to work and uh, assist in these cases. Unikwamba, all our stakeholders in the private sector, what to say, near the ambulances so far when you are to party at Nashkuru, the Red Cross. Tunawashukuru sana lakini waendelee pia kututumia tunahitaji pia msaada wa kidharura we have so many people affected wengine hatujui mahali wako wengine hospitali zimejaa kwa hivyo we are calling upon all our doctors all our specialists kindly to put the strike aside and come and assist us the situation is a horror it's like a horror movie you are seeing it's so terrible so we call upon even the national government because this is also beyond the county government we call upon our NYS commanding officer to instruct his people to come assist here because as a county it is overwhelming to us. Wale wakona msaanda wa kidharura, wa chakula, wa vitu zingine kama tent, kama nguo, kama nini wakujo wa tusaidia. Pia I call upon Kenya Power, here they jakuwa na steamer njana before even ni mkasa, kwa hivyo imekuwa so difficult for them. I'm appealing to Kenya Power because most of the power lines are disconnected. They are taking long to come and respond to our, our cries. So I'm calling upon their boss to come in place and instruct them because they need instructions. We cannot even suck what Wambao Maji Mengia Kwatumbo at Wesito, Atuna Stima, Atuna anything. And when we are calling upon them, they are not coming as expected. So I'm crying to Kenya Power Management staff to ensure that they are on the ground with us and working together. Usiku wa reo tumepata madhara makubwa zaidi, maji ya metokea huko juu, huko kijabe hile ya samani, kijabe mzee, ya kakuja na nguvu nyingi sana, na maji ya merata madhara abaya eja ya nekana maimayo tangu tuzariwe, sabawi mimebeba watu, imebeba manyumba, imezoba baka magari, sahi bado watu wanazidi kutoa maiti, Adi wa sahi maiti na edwena kutolewa, ayijulikani idadi ni ngapi abaya watu abaya wamekufa.
Zaidi ya mili karibu 20 na tumepata baka ya watoto lakini hatujui idadi ni ngapi sababu bado watu ni wengi sana hapa hawajapatikana. Wengi zaidi hawajapatikana hadi saa wengi zaidi hata manyumba zimezombwa hata magari zimezombwa zote. Saa kumi za usiku tukiwa tumerara ndio tulisikia mgurumo mkubwa sana wa maji. Hiyo maji imeosha nyumba za watu, watu walikuwa merara wamebebwa. Na hiyo maji. Maji me Watu wamebebwa, nyumba kubebwa. Sasa watu wameacha bila makao. Sijui hata tufanye aje. Kuna upande hapa Kijabi, Old Kijabi, kuna Korea, kuna hapa Maima hiyo. Bado Garasen, kwenda hivyo kige kuna ito aje. Georges. Bado huko chini maji inaelekea. Hii ni uokoaji unaendelea kuna abirans askari watu wa usaidizi wamejaa hapa kujaribu kusaidia